I am hitting the road today and headed to Grapevine, Texas. I'm going to show you a couple of different homes and a couple of different price points and tell you a little bit about the real estate market in Grapevine as of April 2023. So if you're interested in the DFW area and Grapevine is on your list, then this is the video for you. So stick around. Thanks for tuning in this week. Let me tell you a little bit about the real estate market here in Grapevine as of 2023. The average sales price is $650,000 right now. And since February of this year, the average days on market has really been declining. In February 2023, the average days on market was 52 days. And as of April, it has really gone down to only 17 days on average. Homes are sitting on the market before they go under contract. There hasn't been a lot of inventory also that has hit the market in Grapevine. Right now, only 53 homes have hit the market in April. So that means there's a lot of competition for these homes. Average days on market, like I just told you, has gone down. And then check out this stat. On average, homes are selling for 100.4% over list price. So that means whatever that list price is, on average, they're selling for a little bit higher. Because we don't have a lot of homes on the market right now, and because the average days on market is going down, homes are selling for a little bit longer. The average month supply is only one and a half months. So what does that mean? If every single home that is currently on the market right now, it's going to take one and a half months before all of those homes get a contract on them before any new homes hit the market. And when we have one and a half months of, of supply, that means we're in a seller's market. A neutral market is right at a six month supply. Anything more than that is a buyer's market and anything less than that is what we call a seller's market. We just have more buyers out there than we have actual homes for sale. So this is why home prices have gone up. This is why days on market has gone down in Grapevine. Well, with that being said, I'm about to hit the road and I'm going to show you what you can get for less than the average sales price. I'm going to show you what you can get for right at the average sales price. And I'm going to bump the budget up and show you a little bit more for what you can get for your money in Grapevine. All right, let's go hit the road. The first stop on our tour of houses today is going to be the least expensive home and also the smallest home that we're going to see out of all three. So this house is listed for $512,000. It's three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms with a two car garage. It is 2,118 square feet. So let me turn around and show you the house right here. It's kind of funny, they actually had groceries delivered and there's milk sitting there. I wanna go knock on their door and say, your milk is sitting here. But anyways, <laughs> you can tell with this house at this price point, they have done some of the updates on the inside, maybe not to everybody's likings or standards, but definitely with, um, with anything cosmetic on the inside, you can, certainly, you can certainly change that up when and your timing and when your budget does allow for it. So this neighborhood does not have an HOA, but from the looks of everything, it's, it looks to be fairly well maintained. I mean, this fence could use a little bit of loving, but lawns look maintained. They don't look overgrown. The homes that you're going to see in this neighborhood are going to have the brick and the siding as an exterior. The home was built in 1995 and they really didn't start to incorporate stone on the exterior of homes in 1995 <laughs> in the 90s. So, so you will see some of that siding, but something you really want to be aware of is that when you do buy a house that does have siding on the outside, you've got to make sure that you are painting it every couple of years and making sure that that wood does not get rotten and if it does get rotten then you absolutely do need to replace that not just for the aesthetics of it but also wood rot next to brick next to shingles on your roof can um, can be a fantastic environment for wood destroying insects like termites and carpenter ants and so you definitely want to make sure that with any siding on your house that you are making sure that it is being treated and if you do have any that would rot definitely get that replaced but overall in this neighborhood I, 
I do like it. You've got some nice trees in the neighborhood. It's very quiet here. Yards are maintained and I think this would be a fantastic neighborhood if you're looking in that price point of the 500 low 500 thousand dollar price range. This is this is definitely a neighborhood to check out. Well, I'm gonna drive around the neighborhood so you can see what I see and then we'll get headed to house number two. Before I get chatting about house number two, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, then definitely hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment below. I would love to know your thoughts on it. All right, I am in the second neighborhood here. So this house is actually listed right at the average sales price home here in Grapevine for $650,000. It is four bedrooms, three bathrooms with a two car garage. It's 2,615 square feet. This community is actually super cute and it's got a lot of trees so it's definitely well established but this house was built in 2015 so you get that new home feel but you also have a lot of a lot of trees here in this neighborhood so you feel like you're um, you're pretty well established a little bit about this community the HOA is is $350 a month Ooh, people, be, people may be like, what? What does that cover? Well, it actually covers your front yard maintenance, your exterior paint of the home. There is a community center, there is a community gym, so um, there's a pool. So you actually get a lot of amenities with that HOA cost. I really love the elevation of the house. You've got some like a, like a brownish stone and the trim is all the same color really on all of these houses. It's gonna be that really, really dark brown. And the roof colors are actually Actually, all the same shingle colors in this house so it's very uniform very streamlined here in this neighborhood these homes are actually kind of they're considered patio homes they have very little front yard maintenance and I'm sure just based on the lot size when I look this house up I'm sure it has very little backyard maintenance as well if you weren't looking for a lot of maintenance then then this may be the type of area the type of house for you so that you're not spending your whole weekend you know mowing your yard and taking care of your landscaping this is actually just right off of Highway 360, very easy access to this. I mean, I mean, we're talking a hop, skip, and a jump from the airport too, as well. Super cute community. So I'm gonna drive around so that you can see what I see, and then we will head to our final house for the tour today. I have definitely bumped up our price point for the last house here in Grapevine. This house is listed for $815,000. It's four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms with a three car garage. It has 3,549 square feet. So the house is actually back there, but someone is blowing up a tire or something. I don't know, they're making a lot of noise in around there. So with this house here, really what you're paying for is the size of the house. The house is on a third of an acre. There's no HOA in this subdivision, but as you can tell from these pictures that it's not as updated on the inside as maybe one might like. But if you are looking for a, a good size house in a well-established neighborhood, then this might be the house for you. This house is actually on a really small cul-de-sac. There's only four houses on this entire cul-de-sac. So you really feel like you got a little bit of privacy because it's just the four of you in just this this little area this whole neighborhood here is, is pretty large it is well established this house was built in 1998 and there aren't many houses that look like the next door neighbors so if you're looking for a lot of character in your home you don't want that cookie cutter home where every home is going to look pretty much the same just kind of like how we saw in the previous house then this may be the neighborhood for you if this is in your price point there's lots of trees in this neighborhood you've got a lot of different elevations here on the front elevations you have homes with retaining walls that kind of sit higher up in the neighborhood but overall your house is not going to look like the house next door so here you have three homes that are actively for sale in grapevine and different price points i would love to know what you thought of any of these homes do you like any of them do you want to see any of them if you are looking here in this area and don't have a real estate agent to help you get you into a home i would love to be that agent for you so let me know in the comments below how i can help you out and i will see you next week